So the person that I want to couple up with is Weston. So the boy that I want to couple up with is Jared. Hey. <laughs> right now, I think I need to do what's best for me. I choose to remove myself from Villa. And I hope you guys understand. And I love you guys. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Two Islanders had to end their sandy search for love. And when one faced rejection, she rose above. This is Love After the Island. Hey, sexy beaches, welcome to Love After the Island, your official Love Island recap show. I'm Lauren Zima, here to spill all the tropical tea on this fourth week of Love Island, airing only on CBS and CBS All Access. And guess what, Love Island fanatics? Love Island has been renewed. That is right, CBS's sexy summer hit will be back for a second season. Though for now, we still have to see who can weather the storm. To talk about it all, joining me now in our cozy cabana, two fans favorites fresh out of Fiji, Cashel Barnett and Katrina Dimaranin are here. I have so many questions for you guys. Welcome. Hi. Thank you very much. Okay, when I just said, hey, sexy beaches, you guys were laughing. Why? Is this something that you said on the show? No, it's no, just it's hilarious. Just <laughs> it's just, hey, <laughs> sexy beaches. That's just funny. We love That's a pun. Nothing crazy, nothing serious. <laughs> I'm so happy to meet you guys. Cashel, I have so many feels for you. Uh, no. Just so much emotion on the show. <laughs> Katrina, I have so many questions for you about Weston <laughs> oh, after man. this past week. Uh, we are going to get into it all, especially um, that Love Island Triangle. We're calling it the Love Island Bermuda Triangle of oh. the week, mm. Weston, Emily, and Kira. Mm. So, to quickly catch everyone up, Cashel and Katrina, you were sent home by your fellow Islanders. Then, the power was put in the ladies' hands. Newcomer Emily chose Weston, moving cutie Kelsey to self-exit, and we also saw Eric and Anton depart after Kira coupled up with Jared over Eric, and Carol went for Ray over Anton. I mean, you guys are the perfect people to have in this week because Weston and Kira are very much the talk of the island, and you I both know. Have passed. Know, right? <laughs> that's true. As soon as we leave, that it's like so those true. two. It's just like that's Back the drama. I mean, hey, they're your about? exes. Like, is this a little weird at all? A little bit. You know, <laughs> yeah. I think it's just yeah. weird yeah. to see how everything's unfolding. <laughs> all right. Well, Cashel, I want to go back and, and we're going to get into the emotions with you because Here we go. Oh, your goodbye with Kira was painful. Oh and she was left in tears. Let's take a look. Like, I honestly can't even like take the honestly. <laughs> Like, I'm literally like watching him go just now, like, that just threw me. I feel like I lost a best friend. I can honestly say that I love the kid, you know? I don't know, it just doesn't feel right being here without him. Casual, what's going through your mind? Yeah, I watched that episode and like, yeah, the ex, everybody's crying. I mean, and when it was happening, it felt sad. It's sad to, to not be with everybody and see But that were love. you surprised that Kira picked Eric over you? Mm -hmm. And then the second you left, she's in tears. She's saying she loves you, she misses you, and she kind of lost her feelings for Eric. What did you think seeing the aftermath of your goodbye? Honestly, Kira and I have like a super deep connection. Like we saw into each other's souls, like Aww. immediately on meeting each other. I I mean, don't get me wrong, it felt good to see her like so upset, but I mean, we didn't talk the last three days, so yeah. it was really kind of mixed emotion because I feel bad that she's going through it, but I'm also kind of like, come on girl, love you too, you know, like. Do you still have feelings for her? Yeah, like yeah. absolutely, of course, 100%. Yeah. I mean, right now you're less than a week out of the island. It's been weird. I honestly feel like a piece of me is missing. That's kind of everybody though, like mm -hmm. Leaving, you just miss everybody's energy and you got so close to everybody. And honestly, getting back, I was like, I can't not watch. Yeah. I have to watch because one, I miss everybody. So it's like, these are my friends and I want to be with them. But then two, I'm also just like, what's going on with Kira? Like, what's Aww. she doing, you know? And she's been like the center of everything. Mm -hmm. So it's it's been like very intense. Why did you want to give that gift to her? Aww. Of something that seemed really sentimental to you. A friend of mine gave me these little backs to a guitar tuning peg and I made jewelry out of them and I've been giving them out kind of slowly to friends of mine that are really special to me. And also ha we have a musical connection and Kira just, I mean, fit that bill to a T. And that was my last 
last one. Like that was like mine, you know? Mm -hmm. That was mine of the six and it just felt so right. She just needed it and just our connection, you know, it was so pure. If Kira winds up single at the end of all this, are you reaching out to her to see if you guys can make something happen? Regardless of if Kira comes out single or not, I'm gonna reach out to her because there's so much love there mm -hmm. and so much good energy. Like we're, we're gonna make music together like we talked about. And maybe in more ways than one, Cash, know? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 there it is. Dang, Lauren. Look at him. Shots fired. I'm just saying. Whoa. Katrina, you were coupled up with Weston at one point, and I want to know what was going through your mind watching the way that Weston was treating Kelsey mm -hmm. after Emily came into the house. I was a little bit surprised because, you know, like all the girls were saying, he's so good at making you feel like you can be yourself and be open and he's once he makes you feel special or whatever. And then, you know, he told me the same thing that he told Kelsey, where it's like, no, if a girl were to come in, it would mean nothing to me. Like, I wanna focus on you and I or whatever. Mm. And I was like, okay, cool. And then Kelsey comes in and then the girls go on that lunch thing, we come back and he's totally all up on her. And you know, like we weren't really talking after that anymore. I'm gonna pickle again. The thing is, Weston is super pure of heart. He's not manipulating anybody. Yeah. He's just like a primal man. He's just like going, out, like it's like, huh, like me, like that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and like, I feel good about this and I'm going for it. You gotta bring the fire, you gotta bring the heat. Like yeah. I get it, if you're a primal man, then don't say things don't, that you don't mean. Don't say things that, right. That's really what it comes down back. to. Well, Kelsey right. ended up self-exiting. I mean, watching mm. Weston <laughs> ping pong between trying to comfort Kelsey and do the right thing and her saying, no, go comfort Emily. It was such a crazy yeah. scene. Yeah. Captivating. Should Kelsey have left? I don't think she should have left. I think she could have found someone. To it sucks. I understood why she stepped down. She was falling in love yeah. with Weston, for sure. Like, she was really, really hurt, and I totally understand why she did what she did. I appreciated when she just said, look, if you're clearly not into me, then I'm gonna go. I get exploring other options, but if you're clearly picking somebody else over me, I I'm not gonna fight somebody for yeah. you. I get yeah. that. Yeah. All She's right, real. so let's talk triangles. I have never <laughs> seen anything like this on television. Mm. Love Island gave us a thruple of attraction. Weston was into Kira and Emma. Kira was into Weston and Emily, and Emily was into Weston and Kira. Let's take a look. What was your question? So rewind to first week. You would have pursued me more that day. Obviously, Cash is my boy. I wasn't going to be like, yo. Do you think you didn't pursue me because Cash was your boy throughout time? 100%. Emily, she's a cutie. Like, girl-wise, yeah, she's straight up my type. She seems like a really cool chick. She's hot as hell, too, so... This morning, Kira pulls me, and she's like, I'm interested in getting to know you, and I'm attracted to you, to me. I'm not opposed to getting to know Kira more, but I know that I have a connection with you. I like you, 100%. <sighs> I don't know. So Weston and Emily have ended up together, <laughs> but were you guys surprised to watch Weston and Kira tell each other that they'd always felt something, or did you sense that when you were there? I mean, I knew that they were like BFFs. We but all knew that. Weston literally said if it wasn't for you, Cashel, that he would have gone for Kira. That caught me off guard. For me, none of this surprised me whatsoever. Why not? We're all so connected. All we have to do is gossip all day <laughs> long. Like, everybody in the villa knew that Kira and Weston had a little something a for vibe. each other. Okay. Absolutely. But they felt stronger feelings and other like wanted to explore other things right. more. Kira's all about trying all these different things out and now we're seeing Weston, obviously, oh my gosh. is like wanting to try different things uh -huh. out. So it makes sense for them to just try it out. To go, Foop. oh, we should probably do this, right. <laughs> Katrina, what do you think of the way Weston is handling all this? There is a pattern to how he's going about each new woman that walks into the villa. Mm -hmm. And he has said the same things to each woman as well. Okay, I understand that. Well, all the ladies <laughs> ended up turning on Weston, calling out whether or not he was for real. Let's take a look. I feel I like everybody kind of threw me under the bus and I just like to know the truth so I can kind of explain it. Like, it doesn't really matter what we think at the end of the day. She literally asked us what our thoughts were on you yeah. and no one skewed anything. Everyone just said what our experiences have been. The reason why I think it's so easy for you to say these things because this is like the end of the experience and it's like you could have easily said this about Kelsey, you could have easily said this about Katrina. But I didn't. But right now, do I believe what you're saying? No, I don't. Like, I just feel like it's not really genuine and you're just saying this because it's the end of the experience. I feel like I just got backstabbed on something that I actually care about. And now... So if you care about it, then maybe you should 
fight for it. Instead of just skip saying, this is what people think about me, I'm going home. I know you're the girl, 100%. But with what people are saying about me, it doesn't add up to who I actually am. And I'm not about to sit there and have someone say that I'm fake. You have your guys who know that you're a genuine person. You know that you're genuine. And I know that you're genuine. Even though like I am a little bit confused right now because of everything that's going on, like I still really do care about you and I don't want you to feel like you're not like one here because I want you here. It was interesting to me that Weston wound up in this spot with Emily. They're a new couple. They've gone through a lot of ups and downs already. And this whole thing really spiraled really quickly. So let me ask you guys, is Kira responsible for all this? Whoa. I'm like, you, Lauren, you know. whoa, that was not. <laughs> Yours to answer, buddy. Um, <laughs> no, not at all. I think, honestly, everybody's at this point emotionally exhausted. Like if you haven't gotten in a couple that you feel strong with, like it makes a lot of sense. I'm not surprised that things are getting into that spiral zone and going really, really fast. I mean, things go fast in there. Yeah. And so when everybody, like new girl comes in and everybody sprung on her and everybody wants everyone to succeed and find something, I am not surprised that there's all just this like intimacy flying around <laughs> over over Emily. If anybody, just Emily, you know, Emily's apparently the fire. Like she's beautiful. It's intimacy she's sparks everywhere. Yeah. I kind of felt like Kira was this woman who pretty much everybody seemed to have a thing for. Now Emily's maybe taking that title. Do you think Kira feels threatened by Emily? She must. Really? Yeah, to some degree, like a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I saw the little looks watching it back, like when Kristen came in and like Kristen and I would talk. Yeah, I saw Kira kind of, you know what I mean? Oh, really? Yeah. If Kira came to Weston and just straight up said, "I want us to try something out here," would he say goodbye to Emily? At this point, I feel like. If the girls did not call him out like that and him wanting to go home because everyone turned their back, he probably would. But I don't know, I feel like now he's like, oh, I shouldn't do that because it's just gonna get worse for me. And you know, he doesn't want more trouble or more drama. I feel like right now, probably not. That's just my, that's just my That opinion. last scene, he looked shook. <laughs> that right? Scene, That's time. what I'm saying. Like, big he's time. not going to do anything now. All right, well, let me ask you guys right now who really is genuinely looking for love? The most genuine person in the house, guy and girl. Caro and Ray. Okay. I think. <laughs> and Zach. Uh, I think Caro. Mm -hmm. Caro's like looking. You know, and she's, she's like had a love bunny. Look. She's always hopping yeah. and she's trying to find her feels. You know crazy. <laughs> she knows what she wants, and that's why yeah. it's easy for her to just move on to the next person. Like she knows that's not what she wanted. And people see some people may see it as like, oh, she's just trying to hook up with every guy. And no, like this girl actually knows what she wants in long term and everything. That that's wants. why Carol was like, we're going to the hideaway. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, on Thursday oh, night, man. the Islanders <laughs> learned that's that one sick. couple would get a sandy sign based on viewer votes. The pairs in Jeopardy are Weston and Emily and Yemen and Isada. Weston and Emily have already faced a lot of problems on the island. So the question is, will they last and who will go home? What do you guys think? Who do you think is going home? Weston's out. Weston and Emily are you gonzo. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it was easy to see with us, but yeah. I think America in the same way as the Islanders. It's like, if they're not trying as a couple, you're out. Yeah. Like, and like, respect that yeah. process, yeah. you know? But I gotta admit, they're fascinating to watch. So will they get kept around just because we want to watch what's gonna happen next? I think, <laughs> I think that next. that was uh, why Kira and Jared were voted on, because they're obviously they not happening. I but know. I mean, Kira is like, she's the fire. She's yeah. the whirlwind. Like, there's yeah. so much going yeah. on. Their faces. Even Kira was surprised. I yes. know, Kira was like, what? what? <laughs> Hey, what? I don't think I don't think Jared, it doesn't seem like they've talked at all. I, I mean, clearly Alex was. Like, yeah. Who is this? Who guy? is this guy? <laughs> all right, now it's time to hear from our dearly departed, the Islanders who left without love, a goodbye that's more salty than sexy. Here's what they exclusively told <laughs> Entertainment Tonight. I feel very confident in my decision. I think I made the best decision for me, and I think I'm leaving here with absolutely no regrets, and I think that I'm leaving here on the best foot. I did what I needed to do, and I think I made as many connections as possible. You know, I tried to find a connection, things didn't work out, and I trusted my gut, I stayed true to myself, and that's all you can do at the end of the day. I'm not sure really how I'm feeling right now. It's still kind of like processing all that. 
Um, at the beginning of the night, I thought I was pretty like safe, but I love all of them. Hopefully we can all like link up on the outside and uh, have fun. I'm feeling okay about it. I'm very intuitive uh, with energy. I kind of anticipated tonight being my last night. Definitely really happy about the experience. I got to jump in the ocean for the first time meet a bunch of beautiful people from the inside out. And I mean, Emily, yeah, I mean, save my number in case he ain't the one, you know what I mean? You're a bad one, I'm gonna miss you. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. Eric seems pretty confident. Oh, yeah, that's Eric, man. Oh, well, we also have a message from a special someone on the sand, a familiar voice, roll the video. Welcome to Love Island. Hey, E.T. Hey, my favorite host ever, Lauren Zima. What's going on, guys? Matthew Hoffman here. I am the official voice and narrator of Love Island USA. It's 3 a.m. here in Fiji, and I get in at about 1 a.m., and we start writing the show and recording the show, and we are done at about 10.30 a.m., uh, and then it goes out to you guys by 1 p.m. I think it's live uh, with you guys in the East Coast. So the turnaround is pretty insane. It's awesome to bring you guys a show that you get day of. So what happens here in Fiji happens back in the States. Uh, you guys see it in real time. I have a show to write. It's, uh, we have a couple more hours, so uh, what you guys see tonight is what I snuck off to do this little video for. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, Lauren, you are the best, and uh, we will see you guys soon. Oh, yeah. I didn't know I was going to get a shout out. I love him. I Matthew love and Matthew. I know he's each other. We've, we've worked yeah. together on different stuff before, and he's the sweetest guy. He's so sweet. Oh, Matthew, we love you. Thank you. And I love, he's such a professional. He set up a shot with a palm tree behind him. He knew I'm going to give you guys the Fiji vibes. The vibes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, guys, we have officially filled our love tank for this week. Tune in, though, Friday night to find out which couple leaves the island. Ladies' man Weston and his latest love, Emily, or the more long-standing Yemen and Asada. And our special thanks to Cashel Barnett and Katrina Demaranin for being here and for letting us in on your journey to find love. All right, <laughs> tune in to Love Island five nights a week only on CBS and CBS All Access. And join us here every Friday for our weekly kiki to dish on all the major moments we will be joined by celebrity guests and feature exclusive content you won't want to miss plus you can find us on entertainment tonight's 24 7 digital streaming service et live at etlive.com or via the et live app and speaking of apps do not forget to download the official love island app to help you slide into summer's hottest show from the comfort of your own home from our cozy cabana here in california i'm lauren zima Thanks for watching, guys. Stay cool, sexy beaches. <laughs> <laughs>